Good morning, warriors. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your girl all about Mika. Before you do anything else, before you go any further with watching this video, hit that like button for me and subscribe. Tell a friend about a friend and I'm your friend. And come check me out. All right. So, yes, I know it's been a while. I know, I know, I know. I've been busy, y'all. I have been humping, humping, humping. But I'm going to try to make this video brief um, as I'm on my way to work. So, let's discuss the great flame Monroe, honey. Uh, the Queen Supreme Court was on last night featuring cold judge flame monroe she is transgender she's done drag uh she's a comedian and she is just all encompassing um there are and truthfully you guys i don't watch a lot of queen supreme court and i love maddie i love maddie don't get me wrong but the capacity that i love maddie t.s madison is is the like one-on-one -on -one. i've told y'all this in videos before when she gives us the whole lipton tea hours when it's just her authentic just like her and the audience like just us as the audience and her just speaking to us and just being silly and out there just her that's her shtick i don't care what nobody say that's her element to me that's when she's at her best um so there are times where I just really don't, I'll tune in if I think it's a good guest. Um, but I knew who Flame Monroe was because one Chicago gal know another. And I've seen Flame um, at the Baton here in Chicago a couple times, I believe. So I already knew what she gave. I knew what she gave. So this show was probably hands down one of my favorite shows um next to that would be probably her and Di uh, dineva funky dineva because of their rapport i just love it um this show last night gave you funny it gave you wit it gave you logic um and it gave you flame is authentically herself there were moments in the show that were very tense and I'll give you an example. There were um, there was an issue at the beginning where they were battling back and forth over pronouns. Maddie is very much so, hey, you're not going to uh, misgender me. I present to you as female. I am to be she, her. You know, she, her. Me, she, her. Give me uh, feminine pronouns. Whereas the flame says, I don't give a fuck what you call me. Um as long as that check clears you know what i'm saying and really to put it in more perspective what flame was saying was you all are worried about something as small as uh someone mistakenly if it was a mistake for someone to misgender you something like that as a mistake you're worried about that versus the fact that we are in a climate in this country where your president is trying to damn near eradicate uh, the transgender any rights and all of that like she was going from you worrying about a minute thing instead of worrying about the bigger picture we got more fish bigger fish to fry than somebody calling you he or she or whatever by mistake or whatever so that was tense that was a tense exchange exchange a little bit and that was also another one of the things where maddie kind of had went mute a little bit there were also other times in the show where she went mute. Now, I have said before, and I ain't trying to piss nobody off because I am, I still am my Maddie Mob, but y'all are not going to tell me just because somebody Maddie Mob, you got to agree with everything somebody says, or I can't speak anything negative against her. That's bullshit. We do not live in a monolithic society where everybody has to think the same way. We all got to agree and all this kind of... Mm -mm. You can agree to disagree with people and their beliefs respect, you know, respectfully. For me, this is again, goes back to a previous video I made where 
T.S. Madison is one that she speaks, she talks, and communicates a lot based off emotion. Um, she is an emotional, emotional woman. Um, and there are times where when you're emotional, she can't come up with the logic to put it into words like how she wants to. And so then that becomes dwarfed by larger personalities such as Flame who Flame is quick with it. She's a comedian. Her com her comedic timing is everything. So she got a mouth that's vicious. That she got a Chicago mouth that is vicious as hell. On top of that, she's witty and she uses logic. So there were times I felt like it dwarfed Maddie because Maddie Jush is not those heavy topics. Flame went into things to me that are great topics. She went into politics at one segment of the show where um she was discussing who she will vote for, everybody's attributes, what she didn't like, the positive, negative traits about characteristics about um them, and it kind of that ain't Maddie Jush. Maddie is about fun. She is about um she is the, the free spirited Libra. She don't necessarily handle heavy topics. And it hurts me because there were people in the like live and in the chat that was talking about how um they felt like flame was disrespectful and all that. Y'all just who Lord y'all kill me with the bandwagon thinking if somebody ain't on the same accord as y'all, y'all think somebody being disrespectful. It's not. I didn't feel she was disrespectful at all. She was someone who stood in her truth. She, if she disagreed with Maddie on something, what I liked is that she would challenge Maddie. Well, Maddie, tell me why you feel that way. Let's talk about this. I, I'm talking about you guys. I loved it from A to Z. I loved every darn bit of that show. It was what I needed. Um, Flame made me sit up in my bed last night because I was good and tired. And she made me sit all the way up in my bed last night. And I had to rewatch it again this morning just to get more clarity on some on, on a few more things. So, <clears throat> so you guys should definitely go check out last night's episode of the Queen Supreme Court with Tia Judge T.S. Madison and the guest judge, Flame Monroe, Chicago native, um, comedian, transgender. Um, drag queen, all of that. She's great. She's phenomenal. So I love you guys. Be good to others and definitely be good to yourselves. Mwah.